Hi everyone, welcome back. This is the part two of the lesson four. In the part one, we went through the contents to build a functions to perform data processing, data cleansing, and data preparations. And in this video, in the part two, we will focus on how to create a functions to animate and visualize the data in candlestick chart and moving FH plots. So let's go ahead. So the last functions that we have is the animate function. This function is used to help us to, uh, to, to plot the live data, to plot the capture the data in an automatics and live manners. We just created these functions. Um, that is the with data open uh, with data open high low close function so we are going to use the function directly with the width function here That is um, equal to this one. And then the file name, we need to define the file name. And the stock code, what we are going to use is the, is the first stock code. That is the Berkshire uh, halfway. So that is the stock code that we are going to have and that is the first name and the first the first element in the list and then the useful um, columns are the first six column in the excel file if you forget what we have you can refer it back to the lessons too to take a look on the excel files that we have and of course we have the we have the timestamp um, file format file name format that we are, that we created in lesson two so we have the current time minus the date time dot date dot uh, time delta um, because the time difference between here and between Hong Kong and US is 13 hours. So I just uh, minus the time delta by 13 hours. And then the timestamp, we are going to make sure that um, this string, uh, this is a string because we're going to use it as the file name. So pass the we are going to, not yet, we are going to um, swift time function, use a swift time function to make sure the file format is year, month, and the date. And then we are going to change everything into a string. Um, that should be the file name string times them plus the stock data doc csv file so all these three sentence you can just refer back to the lesson two to see why uh, we put it uh, we put, put the formats like this but because we um, in the lessons two we created the excels uh, with the use of pandas to csv functions um, to create the excels with these file names so here because we want to plot this data in an automatics and live manner so we just use the same format to uh, get the uh, to get the file names to use them to use these with data uh, open high low code functions to with this file however for these for illustrative purpose, I will just uh, comment it first 
and because I have uh, uh, prepared a CSV, CSV file to illustrate um, this exercise. So, and then now we just uh, with, uh, use these uh, functions to width everything, to width the first six columns in this stocks um, data um, that contain, that will return us a um, data data frame, the last latest price, the latest change, uh, the pattern, um, the target, and also the volume. And then we are going to create the candlestick uh, chart. What we need to do is to um, give it range um, of the give a range to capture all the data to put every day all the data into a list. So we have a candle counter um, that have the length uh, of the data in the data frame. We just uh, you can just use any columns uh, from that data frame. It should be fine. And then we're going to create an empty list and append everything inside that. So we have the four candle in candle counter and then append me. We have the candle counter that is the candle. Um, that is the number of candle and then that is this is for the uh, xss value and then we have the open data again uh, we just put everything from the candle we have the open data we have the open high low and then close all right now we got everything we are going to append the data into it uh, that is the append me <clears throat> Now we are ready to plot the graph. So just like uh, what we've done in the other videos, that is the web scrapping uh, videos, we need to clear uh, the graph first and then we plot out the graph. So it just, uh, by doing so, it just looks like um, it's updated um, uh, automatically, seamlessly. So we have the candles, candlestick candlestick open high low close function <clears throat> we are going to put this part into it and then we are going to put the list inside that the <clears throat> the candlestick just um, use 0 0.4 width um, so the color up um, we have two color that we can assign that is color up and also the card color down so for the color up we are going to assign a green color to it and then for the color down we are going to assign a wet color to it and of course you can change it to whatever color you want <clears throat> Remember that we also have the moving average um, for the ball should be this one. We have a moving average of, for the last five minutes, for the last 10 minutes, and also for the last 20 minutes. So here we want to plot this line as well. So that is the data MA5. So the color for this one, I'm going to use pink color. The line style, that is the, um, just a line, the line with uh, one, 
label we will use it as the legend so I just call it five minutes um, moving FH and then 10 minutes and then the 20 minutes similarly we just uh, change it change the data we also change the color and we also change the label and keep everything else um, the same now we have the now we have the everything plot inside this asset one uh, th that is the first support or the main support um, so we have plot the candlestick right here we also have the line 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 chart for or the line for for the five minutes ten minutes and also 20 minutes moving average and then we are going to put put a legend on it to explain this line legend um, the location is upper left and then the face color um, is the dark blue if i remember it correctly and then the font size is 10. okay and then we have these um, legend objects so for tests uh, inside this legend we are going to get the tests and turn it to color white finally we put the figure design functions to this plot and we have everything done right we have everything done um the next few things is just um to put the put the, put the latest latest price latest price change and the target price uh and, and except and etc above them the 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 windows so we're going to put um the the stock lane first the stock lane so that is inside this stock list that's the first element and the color is black that is the font and the font size is 18 and then the font weight uh, I just bow it and then put it on the uh, horizontal alignment I just need to make sure it's now correctly the left and then we're echo alignment that is the center and then this uh, is this baby box I will give her a face color orange for that zero zero good so the next things that I'm going to put is the latest price latest price 
Once again, let's say transform the color. This time we are going to use right color, font size 18, and font weight bold. And then the this time the alignment is center for this one for the horizontal alignment I put it in the left so I just make sure that it is uh, right um, above the left hand corners um, so put the center okay so the next things that I would like to have is the uh, latest change. Latest change. And then the location should be around 0 0.4, still 1.05. Here we are going to assign a color code for this and for this color code um, we are going to play around with it folks so for the latest change if there is a parts size uh, in the first letter that means uh, the price is going up we are going to assign a color code green for that. Otherwise, we are going to assign a color wet for that. So the color green that is one eight D X zero zero. The color wet is the F F. B503. Alright, and then the couple of things left we want to do also um, also for the target. So 1.05 and this is the target. Everything the same. Um, nope, except the color code. This will be this color is a light blue color for the target price. So a i one e nine, and then center center. Yep. Finally, we also want to display the current time. So we have the date time object dot uh, date time dot now. Um, we need to make sure that this uh, is the format that we want. So the format that we want is the percentage y percentage month percentage d percentage hour percentage minutes percentage second and then we are going to put it on the right hand side of the whole layout so that is a bit beyond the frame so i set it 1.4 and then the timestamp and everything is the same but in a smaller size smaller size and also center center yeah and finally we need to give a major grid to the 
whole plot so we turn the grid on the color gray and then line style um, that is a line and then for the we just turn on the major um, for both assets and then line width just set it 0 0.3 and finally we want to we do not want to display any x axis because that um, the x axis will be displayed under the uh, under the RSI RSI chart so we just uh, empty it Pass an empty, empty list to it. So it takes labels. Yeah. So that's it for this function. So right now we are ready to do the animations to make sure everything is correct. Interval equals to one means just update it one second. So, so outside this uh, outside this whole function animation function, we just use the matplotlib function animations dot function animations. We put the figures elements in figure objects into these functions, and then put the function inside it and define the time interval. That is the three parameters that we need to set. And then that's it for these functions, and then we just show it. Let's take a look. Here we missed out the current time, I think. It's because we forget this um, transform, uh, transform functions. Uh, this just means that we are going to according to we are going to transform it according to the um, assets um, coordination system. So, um, so that's why um, we we miss it out. So we just put it back, um, and then it should work uh, properly. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and I also hope that I've not gone too fast and you can follow most of the content. So, and I will also create another videos to supplement these videos and explain everything in a much clearer manner. So as you can see that there are still many right boxes in the image. So for the next video, we will create some functions to animate other livestock informations on the right hand side of the layout. So see you in the next video.